Hey YouTube, it's Rob. So I want to test some more of my test bed and my 8-rack test bed deck. Hey, before I do that, if, if you guys haven't caught this tip in any of my other videos, if you're using, if you're playing on MTGO, and you, you sh if you are, you should be using the new beta client. Um, this is a really handy little trick. You see these things down here? These aren't full decks. These are just like mana bases. So when I am making a new deck, all I have to do is come down here and grab a mana base and you know I might have to tweak that mana base but at least I have like a, like a starting point then I can just right click on this and open a copy of the mana base and there is you know the base starting of my new deck it will save you time and then if I'm making a deck that doesn't have those colors of the mana base then I just start by making the mana base for whatever it is and then I have another one so I've been adding to my mana base uh, things there so anyway um, that aside I want to go back to my test bed 8 rack and we'll see where we're at with this because um, I, I want to test more Blink Moth Nexus. It's been working pretty darn well. Uh, there was something else I wanted to test but I can't think of it right now. It'll come to me. I'm going to test this out for now. Uh, this particular <coughs> Uh, deck has got okay uh, for my I've got a 2-2 split for my flex slot between funeral charm and blackmail so we'll see how that goes or the only other thing is the blink box the nexus here and we'll see how that is this looks this looks weird my display for my cards is off somehow um Okay, that's... I guess that's a playable hand. The Dirty Thoughtseize. Pretty much so far, that's been the best card of the whole set, and it's a reprint. This new Theros block, I think, is extremely underpowered. Really like to rip a swamp or an Urborg. I I'd like an Urborg even better. He's got the Liliana. Um, I'll take the Goyf. Definitely take the Goyf here. I okay. Damn, he's gonna get this from me now. He might get this. sense. Oh, now I get it. 
him. Now what can you do? It's really annoying if it tapped the wrong one. It doesn't look like it did. Good. That's cute. So I think well, this will be a nice match to show the interaction between Blink Moth and Ensnaring Bridge. That it costs him, it costs him in life. Come on, buddy, it's not rocket surgery here. There you go.
Well, that's not likely to help too much, now is it? Really, winning play was getting rid of this, to be honest with you. He'd been dead long ago, if not for that. Fix up the ooze. I have a lot of outs, but it's, you know, it all comes down to next turn. I miscalculated that. Oh well. Let's see what I had coming next turn anyway. No, it was death anyway. Oh well. Alright, so bridge in. I like the ley lines in this match, to tell you the truth. I really like the ley lines. Infest is kind of great against. Um, these are good against Bobs and such. You know, Tram's good. I'll get rid of the black males. Um, I need. It's like I need everything. I guess I'll dump a couple of those. to work. It's not bad, I'll keep that.
we're getting an upgrade to that. It's the same thing except to get a scry one on it, which is actually pretty cool. Guys reconnecting or something. I know the card, I want to test out some more. Um, not as a lot of, but maybe like a two of is uh, this card. You can get some value out of this. You know, if you don't have the Raven's Crime in your graveyard or if you do have it and they have an empty hand anyway um, yeah you can get some value out of that sucker all right so this is not too bad all right we've got goy seal of primordium why Bolt, I don't care about. So top toss the goif. If I draw a land, I probably double crime him. Actually, I definitely will. Yeah. seal. Oh, okay. I want to catch a little bit more than just the death right with uh, my infest. They won't be able to cast the lily and the Primordial next turn. I don't think he wants to cast a Lily yet. I guess I'll save my Raven's Crime. I 
I would think you would take the rack, because the rack can hit his lily. sucks. I'm fine with this scenario here. That's cute. Charm. Okay. I'm not going to plus one Lily here because I really want to Funeral Charm him during his uh, draw. Rated lilies. a good top deck scenario for him there.
So here is a scenario where Mutavault would be better. I could be killing his Lily here. So the, it's no, there's no clear, there's no real clear answer of which one's better when. That's good. Probably got a Terminator and Abrupt Decay. That's good. Get some pressure on here. I think I'll go on him now. Thanks. I still win because I got the blank ball. Well, is there anything he can exile? I don't see anything. Should win this.
What, what creature? Oh, he does have creatures in there. Sorry. Oh! Oh well. It, yeah, I didn't mean to, to do that, actually. Okay, we'll try it again. Jund is tough. Jund is no joke. Come on, buddy. There we go. Hmm. I don't know. I wanted a freaking ley line. Double lilies.
abrupt decay in his hand. Or a maelstrom. Abrupt decay, I called it. Nice. I'm gonna kill that damn thing. That's gonna be. It's only the death right. That's my only threat right now. Well, kinda, sorta. Ooh, that's good. I'll take that. Should have had a rack by now. What did he use on me? He used something. He exiled one of my Ravens crimes. problem is I don't have a rack. I gotta have a rack.
he's got the mouse for him. No, the lily, I don't care about that. All right, well, I picked it up. I picked up the win there. Um, Jund is not easy. It's not an easy match. This will help. Um, you know, with this, you get to Lily alt. Without this, Lily's probably not going to alt for you. I mean, she might still create some great advantage for you, but the chances of you getting all the way to your alt are probably pretty slim. So... Yeah, I'll take the I'll take the win, and uh, I'll move on. But this is the test list. I kind of want to test out, like I said, Siphon Life. I've had it in here before. It's like one of those cards where, if you've got a deck more in the graveyard, and you've got no use for the Raven's Crime, or you don't have the Raven's Crime in the graveyard, you can get a few activations of this Siphon Life, and. It could be the difference. I mean, it's a life gain, it's direct damage to them, or, you know, loss of life, whatever. And, uh, you know, it, it has some high value there. Yeah, I could probably, my, my thought is to probably put, um, put that in over Siphon Life. And you're happy to pitch it uh, to um, Liliana or, you know, whatever. So, if, if you're running those uh, Rotting Rats and stuff, you're happy to pitch the Siphon Life, and uh, anyway, there you go. Yeah, I'm also considering messing with the Rotting Rats, too, as a two of. They're uh, pretty good. Um, anyway, so that that's the deck. I uh, got a solid win against Jund there. Uh, didn't get to see my Ley Line in play, but that would have helped. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.